This week we're discussing pasture and rangeland management with experts from Dow AgriSciences. Let's begin by clarifying how brush differs from broadleaf weeds. John, do you want to take a crack at that question? Sure, Kevin. Well, you know, brush is a totally different beast from broadleaf weeds. Uh, brushy plants uh, have much more biomass under the ground than what you see on top of the ground, much more root mass. So they're much more difficult to control because of that. And uh, another thing uh, about brush is that it can make it harder to manage your livestock. You know, everybody's been getting the herd up, and the first place they go is for that you know, mesquite thicket or over in that Osage Orange or wherever. And uh, some of those thorny plants can be kind of hard to get in and out of. So uh, they can definitely make it harder to manage your livestock. Another thing is, is affecting land value. You know, brushy plants have a direct impact on land value. They're more difficult to control, therefore more expensive to control. So that directly affects the value of your land. That's helpful information. So, so Pat, what are some considerations that, uh, that ranchers should keep in mind as they try to control brush? Well, uh, first of all, they need to understand the problem. Are, are they dealing with brush or are they dealing with a complex of brush and weeds? But if they are dealing with brush, then, then you begin to make your prescription based on uh, not only the species, but the density. If you have low density, we, we can think of this in terms of managing in more of a preventive mode. And uh, you're, you're able to open up a lot more opportunities for individual plant treatments uh, at various timings of the year. Uh, there are a lot of options that way. If you get into high density brush, this is uh, maybe more associated with a, a greater level of neglect uh, the, uh, that the pasture has been neglected for quite a bit of time. And so uh, you generally then are required to use some type of a broadcast treatment. And a broadcast treatment, you have to realize that uh, you generally did not get into this situation overnight. You're not going to get out of this situation overnight. And what you're again trying to do is to shift that to a lower density so then you have more options with your IPT treatments and then to get that brush management under control. That's helpful. Travis, you said that you were familiar with some renovation programs. Can you tell us more about that? Well, ex exactly what Pat just mentioned is at, as we get to a point where the brush and timber species have been left in, unchecked for, for many, many years, uh, we've literally put ourselves into a position where we do have to do a serious renovation program. Uh, I, I'm, I'm involved in several renovation projects every year, and probably the most important suggestion I could make to a producer is get some experts involved in making the calls. It is a substantial investment to bring that property back to a A-grade type property over time, and uh, there's no sense in doing it any other way than the right way. Take inventory of the plants we have, as Pat mentioned, the density, and uh, get your applicator. Many times renovations require aerial application. Get that aerial applicator involved from day one, and then as we move through that control stage, we'll eventually get to where we can do an integrated uh, approach to keeping the problem from coming back again. I bet there's some range and pasture specialists like you and John that'd be happy to help folks out. 